Well, after years of discrimination, the USDA is giving black and other minority farmers $2 billion. News 13's Gabby Jonas spoke with farmers who requested federal aid in Sumter and Clarendon counties. They say this history of discrimination has affected them for decades. Farmer of the Year with Walker Family Farms, Reverend Jermaine Walker, says in order to apply for the loans, you had to fill out a 40-page application with several different categories to choose from, recording any form of discrimination acted against you. How many have ever been denied a loan from the USDA? By show of hands. Good. And the next question is, how many have been turned down more than once by the USDA? The USDA estimates there are roughly 40,000 black farmers nationwide, but only about 1% own the country's farmland. Roughly 95% is white owned. The, the, the African American farmer numbers are dwindling drastically. Um, and if it continues that way, um, there will be little to none, as is pretty much is there right now, any African Americans or, or minorities in agriculture. Walker says even if he received the highest amount of funding of $500,000, it wouldn't be enough. And at a point in time where it costs so much, at a point in time where people are just barely holding on to their operation, to the family land, trying to um, get things paid, trying to survive, to get it turned over to another generation, um, it's very important that these funds get out to the community, to those farmers to assist with some of those needs. After being denied from aid multiple times in the past, other farmers in the area are grateful to see change and pray it continues moving forward. I just, I don't want it to be a, a one-time payout and then they go back to treating us like they, they always have. Checks were sent out earlier this week and National Black Farmers Association President John Boy says this call by the White House is pivotal for the black farming community and its future. I see that's a, a true blessing for for many, many older black farmers that uh, have been so brutally mistreated by, by our own federal government, the same uh, government that should be lending the hand up to black farmers who are discriminating against us blatantly and in a very in-your-face way. So this we take the payments, uh, and, and again, we see this as a huge victory. Walker says the check loan should be delivered to those selected around this time next week. News 13 reached out to USDA for comment. We have yet to hear back. In Pinewood, Gabby Jonas, News 13.